All right, in this video, we are going to be correcting sentence four and five under set eight. Sentence four says, it's not a question of whose water balloon it is. It's the mere fact that someone left their water balloon on the seat of my chair, said Ramon. In this sentence, we have pronoun antecedent agreement here. We also need to make sure we're using the right word. We're going to add quotation marks. We need to add a comma and we have a comma splice. So first, let's look at our pronoun antecedent agreement. So when we talked about this grammatical concept, we learned that our pronoun needs to agree with its antecedent in number. In this context, this word someone is being used as a singular pronoun. However, we have used the plural pronoun there. So I'm going to make a correction to this sentence by replacing there with his or her. I'm also going to uh, re-add the word there because just like we've talked about in the past, the Merriam-Webster dictionary has recently added there as a singular option. That would fix my pronoun antecedent agreement error. We also need to make sure we're using the right word. So to help us out, I've actually made it a note to my sentence correction sheet. And if this note is helpful to you, I would strongly encourage you to add this note to your sentence correction sheet as well. So the corrections we need to make are we need to replace this it's with, well, with the version that has the apostrophe. We've also used the wrong form of the word whose. It does not make sense for us to say, it is not a question of who is water balloon it is. So we know we need to use the other form. And we need to replace this it's with the version with the apostrophe. And that is my using the right word errors. We're also going to add quotation marks. So as we can see, we have a direct quote, and we know that because we have the phrase, said Ramon. So I'm going to show that it's a direct quote by using quotation marks around everything Ramon said. To separate the direct quote from the phrase, said Ramon, we also need to add a comma. And lastly, we have a comma splice. We've talked about comma splice before, and I want you to remember that a comma splice is simply a comma that's acting as end punctuation. Remember, a comma isn't strong enough to hold two complete sentences together, so I need to replace my comma after is with either a semicolon or a period. I'm going to use a semicolon. And now sentence four has been corrected. Let's take a look at sentence five. It says, the clavicle or collarbone is the most frequently broken bone in the body because they're a relatively thin bone and often involved in shoulder injuries. In this sentence, I have pronoun antecedent agreement error. I'm also going to take out an unnecessary comma and I have a sentence fragment. So first let's take a look at pronoun antecedent agreement. Again, we need to make sure our pronoun agrees in number with the antecedent. Clavicle is simply one bone, so we're looking at a singular antecedent, so I need to make sure that my pronoun is singular as well. So I'm going to replace there with its. Next, I need to take out an unnecessary comma, and that's after the word bone. Now keep in mind, we do have a fanboy here. However, we only need to use a comma if we have a complete sentence before the fanboy and a complete sentence after. This phrase, and involved in shoulder injuries, is not a complete sentence, so I don't need to use this comma. And lastly, I have a sentence fragment. A sentence fragment is an incomplete sentence. And we have an incomplete sentence here because we've separated these two phrases by using a period and a capital letter in because. So I'm going to fix my sentence fragment by taking out the punctuation 
and lowercasing the b in because. And now sentence five is corrected. If you have any questions about how or why we've corrected the sentences the way we have, please feel free to reach out and I'll be sure to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks for watching everyone.